the Shalom, giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakaha Kodash. Double honor to the elders of Great Mills, the one who told me this truth. A sincere Shalom, Labakarium, Shah Yasharal, that's peace to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. What you see here is um, True News Network. And I'm only bringing this out for edification purposes. He got roughly over 20,000 subscribers. On the mainstream media, yes, he'll be a small guy, but with the underground news, he would be considered a big fish. Now, I've been watching this guy for a minute. And guys like him, you know. And as we watch, and we watch the body language, and we listen to what these preppers, I mean, he's not a mainstream prepper, but he does collect a lot of news. You see the, the nervousness as we come closer to the big one. And when I say big one, I'm speaking about thermonuclear destruction, which will not happen until they make it mandatory that you put a device into your skin, which is coming. Everything is moving at the same time right now. And it's mandatory. It's it's necessary. Like breathing the air is necessary. Your heart pumping blood is necessary. Your brain needing sugar and fats and fat, <laughs> certain fats your brain need to uh, mobilize. It's that necessary and mandatory for the hopeful elect to be paying attention to our Lord's second coming, man. Because he spoke and said it will be just like this upon his arrival. Now he's, he's, he's very nervous now. I'm not gonna play the whole thing. Um, we're just gonna listen to a few of the uh, information that he has. But yes, we are in a very nerve-shaking time. We can't express it enough. And may we be of the Lord's hopeful elect. Because if not, you're in great danger. You, your wife, your mother, your brother, your auntie, your kids. You are in grave danger at this time. In a three... Uh, you know, there's a lot of speculations of nukes are real or not, which I'm not going to go into that fence that they're not real because I truly believe they are. But um, I do know that the, the saber rattling is going through the roof right now and anything can happen at any point in time, no matter what. Yes, countries talk shit to each other in the past, but now, but now we're in a different era, guys. It's not just talk. These guys are preparing. They're teaming up. They're joining each other's currencies. They are uh, disputing each other's territories, you know, to try to find a rally way to go against the West. Nobody wants to go on the United States dollar no more. Nobody wants to buy or uh, get assets from our dollar. Nobody wants to trade through our dollar. None of that no more. They want to trade through gold. They want to value. They want to value for war, for war with the United States. And right now, the value is gold, the value is silver, the value is, you know, everything but an IOU on a dollar. <laughs> That's all the United States dollar is, is an IOU. It used to be backed by gold and it used to be, you know, very valuable. Now it's not. It's not as valuable as it used to be. It's now no longer backed by gold. It's backed by an IOU and a bunch of debt. And China, this country is starting to go to shit because of all the debt. 
Uh, at least that's what's being reported from several outlets that China's starting to crash too. And this is why they're getting more aggressive and getting ready to go into war. So right now, everybody's just trying to fix their situations and whoever's gonna make it harder for whoever country is the ones that are gonna be going to war with each other. So if uh, United States makes it harder for China, <laughs> then China's gonna to go to war with the United States. That's why they keep threatening war. If China's gonna make it harder for the United States, then Ch the United States is gonna to go to war with China. Russia's already making it hard for everybody because they're rallying the world against us. Um, Iran and North Korea obviously is on their side. Uh, Philippines, uh, South Korea, Japan, and Australia on our side. I don't know about Vietnam yet. Vietnam is trying to play neutral, but China's kind of pissed and thinking that they're moving to more towards our side. Uh, we have Armenia who's coming to our side, who is in Russia, CSTO, and now wants to be a, a member of NATO, which is weird going for one, you know, <laughs> um, <laughs> sort of kind of NATO group to go into a full-blown other. Just uh, showing the times that we live in, man. man That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, what do you say? You see it, the signs of the times that we live in. We're in serious biblical prophecy right now, man. And that's what these people, they don't understand. Yes, they're watching, you know. I give it to him, but you don't know what this place is set up for. Only the men of the Lord and the, and the women, the Hofu Akwath is waking up because it's time. The 144 could be sealed or damn near sealed. All these winds are blowing. The winds that the Lord spoke about is blowing. And it's time to evacuate this place. It's time to leave. It's time to go. We at the end of the world, Esau's world, and the beginning of Jacob's that followeth. You have nothing left, whether you of the Lord's elect or not. These peons, like you see this guy here jogging this Edomite, right? These peons here have zero left. You think this guy know what's going on? These people riding up and down the street here. You think they know what's going on? No, they do not. This is Ezekiel 12. Start from verse uh, 25. Read the NLT. For I am Yahweh, or the Lord. The Lord true name is Yahweh. If I say it, it will happen. And this is what people keep saying. Oh, this ain't going to happen. No. This will happen. It will end with these bombs. With the place that you live in, known as America, it's called Babylon the Great. The Great Whore in Revelations. And it's destined for the Lord to step to this whore and take her down. And who's going to do it? His son. His son is coming back. Our Lord Yahushua is here waiting for the word. That's why all this UFO activity is going on. We know what's going on in the air because the Lord spoke it. So he says, for I am the Lord, Yahweh. If I say it, it will happen. There will be no more delays. You rebellious, you re rebels of Israel. That's our people, the two thirds. I will fulfill my threat of destruction in your own lifetime. You see that? You see that? All you that's alive right now, 2023 AD. You're still in biblical times. You're alive on this earth, whether you're 60, 70, 80, whether you're 20, whether you're 10, whether you just entered in, you're a few days old. You're here. Your lifetime is here to witness this. It's been written in your cards from heaven that you be in this earth right now to witness what's about to happen. In your lifetime, in your face, with all that unbelief that you got, all that standing on the fence is for a reason. So you can witness the power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Your own lifetime. 
I, the sovereign, mean the single Lord, have spoken. Then this message came to me from Yahweh, Ezekiel, son of man. The people of Israel are saying he's talking about the distant future. And that's what they, they think. Like this guy right here, he can't believe that this is actually happening in his time. Uh, he's in disbelief that this is actually happening in his time. And when you speak to people, they'll say, oh, this got to be 20, 30 years from now. We got maybe another 100 years. He can't, uh, what, what's this, uh, thumbnail? True News Network can't believe this is going, look at his face. They cannot believe we're here, but we are here. Yes, we are. We're here to see the second coming of our Lord. Son of man, the people of Israel, and it's mainly you niggas out there talking, you niggas and you Hispanics. You the only one, that's why it's called Jacob's Trouble. Because you're the main ones in, in unbelief. Son of man, the people of Israel are saying he's talking about the distant future. His vision won't come true for a long, long time, right? That, that's your hope. Therefore, this is for the men of the Lord out there on the corners. Therefore, tell them, we've been instructed to tell you, this is what the sovereign Lord says. No more delay. I will now do everything I have threatened. I, the sovereign Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah, have spoken. That's why we right here. Let me just go back to, to the beginning real quick. That's why we here. We here, we here, we here. May we be of the Lord's elect. So I can. Um, on that end, let's just get straight to what I got to talk about today. <sighs> Russia is bringing the war to NATO. People have no idea what is going on, but Russia is bringing the war to NATO. So how do we, what, what are we talking about? So Romania has been hit with drone debris three times. Romania is on high alert. They got defense systems on their border and they're ready to shoot down Russian missiles and drones in the area. Russia shot off or is supposed to shoot off a nuclear weapon today. Uh, they're going to be testing one of their nuclear weapons, not like the old school way you talk about detonating it in the ocean, but they're going to uh, shoot it towards the Barents Sea. And it's kind of weird because in the Barents Sea, the United States reconnaissance drone, or I should say P-8 uh, surveillance drone just got, or not P-8, their freaking uh, surveillance plane just got uh, intercepted by a Russian M-31 or MEG-31, which uh, they said... It was supposed to be a target because of how close it was getting to, I guess, a, a area they wasn't supposed to be at. But Russia didn't end up uh, hitting it. So that's at least good. That's at least good. <laughs> or it didn't end up attacking or anything because it didn't violate airspace or anything like that. Uh, Y'all see what's going on with China. China sent 103 warplanes around Taiwan and 10 warships. Taiwan is in a really bad spot because the United States just wants to help them out as much as they can. They're trying to fix what they did with Ukraine and they're starting a war a lot faster. This war is starting a lot faster between Taiwan and China. And it might not even start as Taiwan and China, as y'all keep hearing the United States saying that we might just go to war with China off the bat because they're preparing for war with us. They don't need us long to prepare for a war with Taiwan. They can take Taiwan anytime they want to. It's us that they're worried about getting in the way. Japan, Australia, you know, all the above. The United States and friends, I call them. So, keep your eyes open because it's getting very tense, my friends. Very tense. Bulgaria has found a drone on their territory with explosive weapons. And they're already assuming that it's possibly Russia's. Even though they said it's, going to, it's coming out of the Russian-Ukraine war, is possibly 
Russia's. So if this comes out like this, then NATO's going to be on so high of alert, guys, that this is not going to be a game no more. I mean, it was never a game to begin with. I was hoping that we could avoid conflict. And I kept telling the trolls, stop asking for conflict because you're, you're going to risk all of our lives for your dumbass fetish, your war fetish that y'all have. So I'm literally trying to, like, wake people up. Like, there's people that just think this is all going to be fun and games, and it's not. Not even close. It's going to be horrible. No waking the people up. Those that have the unction to receive this word, it's a form of protection. Those who don't have been sealed for destruction. And it's going to be brutal. All you can do is your job is report. We don't know if you are the Lord's elect. You don't know the prophecies. You don't know why these nations are preparing what's really going on. You know? This is how Esau world ends and our world begins. This is uh, Joel three verse nine. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles, prepare war, wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up, say to the nations, Far and wide, get ready for war. Call out your best warriors. Let all your fighting men advance for the attack. Why? Because the Lord said upon his arrival that the world will be in war. And according to Second Ezra, once they see our Lord show up with the with the fathership. They're going to stop the war that they're in and turn the attack towards him. This is all biblical prophecy. You cannot stop what's about to happen. The Lord is going to rejoice in his prophecies. This is Matthew 24, verse 3. And as he sat upon the Mount Olives, his disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? Now, this world here, when you go into the Greek, is eon, which means the end of the Roman age. This is what the disciples was asking our Lord, Yahweh, 2,000 years ago, because they thought that the Lord was going to take the Romans down then, not knowing the Romans had a second leg. You still had to finish out Daniel's the second chapter, Daniel's the seventh chapter. You still had to go through those prophecies. They wasn't privy to this information that we have here today. We got all the pieces to the puzzle. Call all y'all about Shem Yahweh I say that humbly, but aggressively because it's serious for you to be sitting here with these pieces to the prophecies at this time. It's not a joke. We are upon the arrival of our Lord, Yahweh Shah HaMashiach. And Yahweh Shah answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am anointed, the Christ, HaMashiach, and shall deceive many. And that's happening. You got people popping out the woodwork, and it's going to get more aggressive with people saying that they are the second coming. They are the Christ. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. You see that? So we know there's a war popping off. Google how many wars. I think it's about 27 to 30 wars actually happening right now. The hottest one is the one in um, Russia. And then all these others are rumors. But it's not going to be a rumor real soon. The attack is on. And therefore shall bring forth Jacob's trouble, man. But upon his coming, you was going to hear of, of, of these wars and rumors of wars. See that you be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. Meaning that you don't panic yet, right? For all these things must happen, but the end is not yet. Why? Because we still got Deuteronomy 13, 16, 17, 18, the prophecy of the MOTB, which is to be fulfilled, as well as other prophecies like Jacob's trouble. But these wars signify the end because it ends with these wars here. So that's what, you know, these preppers, all these watches, earth watches are missing. The prophecies, man, because they are not the Lord's anointed. 
This is uh, Revelations 11 and uh, 14. The second woe, the second world's war, is past. And behold, the third woe, the third world's war, cometh quickly. Now, these woes, World War One, Two, and Three, had to be documented into the scriptures. Because upon the third woe is the ending of the kingdom of the other nations. All the nations fall upon Esau falling. That's Daniel 2, the second chapter, as well as the seventh chapter. All the nations crumble when Esau crumbled because they all are holding tight to the beast at this time. Revelation 17, the horse sits on the waters. So that's why it's a very, very sensitive time. And it's mandatory. If you the men and women of Yahabashim Yahabashah, don't end up looking like this guy. Because you think you see a panic now. Let me see if I can get a little more. <laughs> you know? Ever, guys. Ever. We have Russia teaming up with North Korea. Both vowing some kind of assistance to the other. North Korea is looking for possible nuclear technology, possible submarine technology or ICBM technology from Russia. Also, they want fossil fuels uh, from Russia, too. And in return, Russia just wants military aid for Ukraine, which could end up being personnel sent to Ukraine. Could be ballistic missiles or actual rockets or something like that that uh, the Russians get from them. But they are supposed to get a lot of ammunition from North Korea, which is great for Russia because North Korea, they've been building up the stockpile and not doing shit with it. <laughs> so that's just kind of where we're at right now. Oh man, I'm trying to think of anything else. Uh, Azerbaijan, Azerbaijan as well. Um, is getting ready to face off against Armenia, or I should say Armenia is getting ready to face off against Azerbaijan. I got news this morning that I guess Armenia is building up on Azerbaijan's border, and Azerbaijan is saying that Armenia might attack them. So uh, I know they've been doing like tit for tats, little attacks on each other, like little shootouts here, killing a couple soldiers, shoot out here, killing another soldier, or um, damaging uh, some things that's off their borders but they haven't went to full scale war yet. Um, Russia's really pissed with Armenia right now because they're doing military drills with the United States and Armenia is right in Russia's backyard. So they're taking this as the United States is trying to build a footprint in Russia's backyard, which it was already bad enough that we have all these footprints in front of Russia or towards the west of Russia. But it's a whole different ball game of having it in the south. And of course, we're in the east because of Alaska. That, that, and then up north, NATO's trying to build up that, that, up north. That, that, that's enough right there, man. Go to his channel. You know, subscribe and follow because I give it to him. He gets a lot of his news from War News 24-7. Uh, that's a Greek website. You know, I go there. You can convert it to English or whatever language you choose. No, and go see what's going on. You dollars who think, oh, this just is going to go away. <laughs> no, this ain't going away. We're in a time of the release. You like being a slave? You like being at the bottom? You like what's happening to America right now? You like the way it's going? You like the, 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 the system that's set up in front of you? You don't think it's going to be a change? So what if some did not believe? Should that make the faith of God without effect? God forbid. Your unbelief ain't stopping nothing. You just going to be caught up in the middle of the destruction, man. Go check out what's going on. It's going to come a time real soon you're not going to be able to ignore what's happening. This is uh, Ezekiel 7, verse 25. Destruction cometh, and they shall seek peace, and there shall be none. Giving all praise, honor, and glory. To Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakah, double honor to the elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. Shalom, Labakarium, Shah, Yasharala, Shalom.